Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Alicia Malone. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas on TKBI FM Radio, the Valda BB Show. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? It's always nice to talk to you. Uh, it's very nice to talk with you, and I want my audience to know that Alicia Malone is with Fandango, and she's going to talk about the 2017 movie preview. What's going on at the movies? You know, someone wants to take me to the movies for Mother's Day, and I don't have a clue what's playing, Alicia. <laughs> Well, there's a couple of really big films coming out this summer, including Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. These movies are really popular, and you've got Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp, back on the big screen with Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley and a new cast as well. He's being chased by a ghost ship. It looks really thrilling. Then you also have Spider-Man Homecoming, which stars Tom Holland, who's a new version of Peter Parker. He is such a great casting because he's a young, fresh guy. He, he delivers the one-liners really seamlessly. He does the action. He's got a gymnastics background. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in his own movie. And then the movie that I'm most looking forward to is Wonder Woman. I remember growing up in Australia, I used to dress up as Wonder Woman. I'm wearing a Wonder Woman pin right now. I'm representing. Love the idea of a female superhero. It's been so long since we've seen a standalone female superhero movie. This is her origin story, takes place during World War One. stars Gal Gadot, who we saw in Batman vs Superman, and she had such a great little moment there. Now she has her own film and also stars Chris Pine, so I can't wait for Wonder Woman. Ooh, yeah, he, he'll, he'll fight up the movie. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I like him. Anything else that's going to be uh, this summer? Yeah, Baywatch is going to be very, very funny. I've seen a lot of footage of this movie. It stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, based on the television show, very self-referential, a lot of jokes about the slow motion running that everyone does, those hot bodies. You've got Zac Efron, who plays his new recruit, the rival. They have a great back and forth between them. Very, very funny. I, I definitely recommend that one. Also, a film that you should look out for that's a little bit smaller is called Baby Driver. And this is about a getaway driver, a heist movie. It's all set to music. It stars Ansel Elgort, John Hamm and Kevin Spacey. And Ansel plays this young getaway driver called Baby, who is a brilliant driver and he gets roped into doing these robberies. But the cool thing is everything is set to music. All the action is choreographed to music. It's the kind of film that you want to see on a big screen with a crowd. Does that make it a musical because it's set to music? Yeah, almost. Almost a musical because the music definitely drives the entire film, but nobody actually sings or dances, but everything they do is choreographed. It's really cool. It's a great idea. Well, cars are a hot, a hot commodity. Is there a cars on, cars on itself on, on the horizon? Yeah, there's Cars 3, the third movie in the franchise. Really, really popular with kids. This one is perfect if you have young kids to take them to. Great message, really wholesome movie. You also have Despicable Me 3 if you have young kids. I know that they love the Minions, and the Minions are back again. Also Gru, played by Steve Carell. This time he discovers that he has a twin brother, also voiced by Steve Carell, and Kristen Wiig is back again too as the voice of his wife. So those two movies, Cars 3, Despicable Me 3, if you have young kids, they will love them. That sounds cute. Now, you didn't talk about anything sci-fi. You got anything sci-fi for us? Oh, yes, sure do. We've got Alien Covenant, which is the second prequel coming after Prometheus, coming before Alien. 
This is a classic film franchise and Sir Ridley Scott back directing again, 79 years old and he still has so much enthusiasm for this franchise. And let me tell you Val, that it is really scary. There are moments when I was hiding under my jacket. There's a lot of aliens that burst out at you, uh, blood and gore, but it is one of those films that's fun to watch with a crowd and maybe with a date because then you can kind of cuddle up to them and that's a good excuse. <laughs> It sounds good, you know, but a lot of people are fans of Fandango. Do you have like a, a fan shop or a fan site or something like that for them? Yeah, we just launched the Fandango fan shop and this is great if you're a film geek like I am. You can buy all sorts of merchandise. We have Wonder Woman pins. We've also got these great Wonder Woman socks that have capes on the back of them. I, I'm going to buy one of those because they just look so much fun. You've got these little baby Groot figurines from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Also Despicable Me and Minions, plush toys and figurines. Baywatch tank tops. So much there. Go to FandangoFanshop.com and you can see all the merchandise we have. Alicia Malone, thanks for catching us up on the summer. You gave me some ideas where I want to go for Mother's Day. And if people want to get tickets and show times, where would you recommend that they go? If you go to Fandango.com, you can buy your tickets. And if you get your gift card, you can also get one with Wonder Woman on the front. Oh, yeah. you know you love Wonder Woman now. I do. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I do too. Alicia Malone, thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Come back. I will. I'd love movie. to. Thank you. Bye.